It is day number two of campaign 2020 here for the Republicans. And tonight, First Lady Melania Trump is set to speak during the Republican National Convention. Our political reporter Jack Fink took some time today to speak with Texas GOP Chair Alan West about a potential second term for President Trump. Jack, good afternoon. Hey, Doug. Texas GOP Chair and retired Lieutenant Colonel Alan West hit on a theme President Trump and other Republicans have voiced recently, restoring law and order in cities experiencing violent protests and rising violent crime. Well, I think the most important thing Texas Republicans need to understand is a clear choice. And not just Texas Republicans, but all Texans. Either you stand for and with a rule of law, or you're going to become a uh, part of the rule of the mob. West said the increase in crime is leading many people to buy guns and take concealed carry license classes. He said he believes the people doing so will vote for the president. The Texas Democratic Party touted a new poll today of registered voters in Texas by the public pol policy polling, which gives Democratic nominee Joe Biden a one-point lead over President Trump. But the president still has a small lead in the real clear politics average of polls in Texas. Republicans discount the polls, but say they tell the president's supporters they cannot sit on the sidelines in November and they've got to go out and vote. West said the state's future depends on it. And I just want folks here in the great state of Texas to think about this. When you are looking at the Biden-Harris team that has uh, embraced the Green New Deal, that means that they want the oil and gas industry that, without a doubt, is preeminent for the Texas economy, made us the 10th largest economy in the world. They want that gone in the next 10 to 12 years. The Biden-Harris campaign says it wants a zero emissions policy implemented by 2050. West says that will hurt the Texas economy and the nation's.